thanks to COVID, most of us are either staying at home, which means you are stuck at home doing nothing, or you are in quarantine, or you have to wear a mask whenever you step out of your house. And that is annoying, alright? I can't say for colder regions like Americas and everything, but for the region where I stay, right, it is freaking warm. And when you perspire, you know, you perspire inside the real mask and you have your sweat and everything and then your nose hair grows longer, your moustache grows longer, it's annoying, alright? So everybody wishes that, you know, this virus will go away as soon as possible. So what do we do? We turn to testing as a form to check whether people have the virus or not, right? So all along, testing has always been done via a singular major method called the PCR test, the polymerase chain reaction test, where yes, it's very accurate, but the problem of that is it takes about two days, about 48 hours to show whether the person has it or not. And more importantly for some people, it's actually very uncomfortable because you have to stick the swab all the way through the back of your nose. So it's like, like, I've never done a PCR test before, so I, I cannot say, but I mean, I can only imagine how uncomfortable that must be. Enter a new generation of tests. So this is not designed to take over, this is designed to complement, alright? This is what we call an ART test, an antigen rapid test. So what this does is instead of sticking all the way behind, it only sticks about 2cm up your nose and you, you do it a few times and then you can you know you, you can get it that brings us to this product here this is the Abbott Pan Bio uh, COVID-19 ART self ART so recently in my country we actually approved uh, two models this one actually boasts about a higher sensitivity level more about that later okay so I just want to show you, take this time to show you guys uh, what's the contents of it and how you use it and everything like that. Alright, let's open it and in the box, right, you come in, you see that basically it is uh, easy, fast and yeah, easy and fast. <laughs> okay, and yeah, nothing much about it. Uh, Abbott is actually a brand that makes uh, more of baby, baby powder, but uh, woo! smart of the company to extend to this kind of things very smart okay let's open it okay inside the box right you'll find a instruction manual okay so one is in French one is in English and one is in Dutch I don't know how to pronounce I'm sorry Dutch Dutch yeah so we're gonna be using English duh because I'm speaking English you don't mean to speak Chinese right push it push it Okay, so inside the rest of the contents, you'll find the swap, right? This is the this is the device that will go up your nose. Okay, a Ziploc bag for you to throw away everything after you're done. The tube, this is called a white tube. Uh, it's like a test tube, but white tube. I'll explain more about it later. It actually comes with a cap that you can actually open later. Okay, a blue cap to cover the tube. And this is the... ART device, this is the most important one, be careful with this, alright, comes sealed. Okay, and last but not least, we have the, this is what I like to call the eye drop, you know like the refresh eye drops, then you open it, then you can, yeah. Oh, please don't put it in your eyes, alright. So this is the one, this is the liquid which you'll be, you'll be dipping it later in, more in a moment. And comes in the case actually, this is actually a very, very, very smart device that after you put, you can actually pull that, okay. So that's about all you get for this uh, ART uh, self uh, device, self test kit. Okay, so in the instructions, right, it is very, very, very clear, which I really and which I really appreciate because most people like us, we are not health professionals, so we don't understand what it means to you know stick it up and then this medical term, this condition. No, we don't know. All we know is stick back, tilt lid, uh, back, I drop and plastic all right so it's very 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 helpful that they actually come uh, prepared with a very 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 detailed manual so for example they will tell you to prepare for the test okay check the expiration date on the box very very, very important make sure it's not expired right uh, do not use if the kit expired ensure the kit is at room temperature blah 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 so why would I purchase this okay it's because this is actually has a 15 minute waiting time that's all you need you don't need two days you you just need 15 minutes and you'll show you the results provided you do it properly of course 
Okay, and also the sensitivity is pretty good. So it boasts about a 91% sensitivity rate and a 99.8% of specificity rate. I am not sure what that means, but it is pretty darn impressive given that it is just 15 minutes compared to 48 hours for your standard PCR test. So pretty good for that. Uh, let's start. I'm not going to be actually doing it because I don't want to waste a perfectly good kit. Okay, let's do it. Uh, so step one, what you do is you open this up. Okay, twist it and open it just like how you would open a eye drop right like, really really you just treat this as eye drop but don't don't you don't need to flick it like how you would do your eye drop that is step one open this uh what is this called the buffer bottle all right open the buffer bottle keep it up right after you open it okay if this is not closed this should be closed right okay so make sure this is closed okay step two is squeeze it squeeze the contents of the liquid into your i'm just i'm just gonna call it the test tube okay squeeze it into the test tube you may need to squeeze this buffer bottle two or three times just to make sure the liquid is inside okay you should see that there is actually this line here okay so this is called the fill line make sure when you squeeze the liquid okay make sure that the liquid is at or past the fill line okay that's very important once there is liquid inside right you can actually set it there can leave it first okay now step three we prepare the swap so this is the stick i like to call it so there is two and there is things about this is that you should notice that there is a marker here okay yeah so this is where you break the strap for later and this more importantly this is the end this is the tip of the swap where you'll be going up your nose right so when you open it right make sure you don't open this side because this needs to be clean from hands from whatever so that the results can be as accurate as possible okay open this side okay step four stick it in this is this is the uncomfortable part right so it's not really pain it's just more of ticklish so i have a sensitive nose so it's like whoa <laughs> annoying yeah so what you do is step four right you stick it up Okay, 2 cm. So 2 cm it is when you stick it up, right? If you if you're looking at yourself in a mirror, okay, make sure that this entire cotton area is not visible as yes, it is inside lah. Okay, so stick it up, okay, and gently rotate the swap, rubbing the inside of your nose, basically your nose area, rub it at least five times. So like something like this, like one, two, three, four, five. Okay, very important do the other side of the nose all right then repeat again one two three four and five okay once that is done step five you insert don't touch ah, don't touch ah, okay step five insert the swap into the test tube okay your test tube should be over here by now right so insert it in make sure that it's inside the liquid okay stir it in, like how you're stirring coffee you know okay stir it in make sure you're going in make sure it's at least five times the magic number of this test is five all right stick it in slowly at least five times after that okay you want to get rid of all the liquid not all like most most of the liquid inside this cotton bud so what you do is while it's inside right okay you want to squeeze the bottle so squeeze it you know, make sure that the most of it is out so it should not be dripping okay after that step five if i'm not wrong okay you see the brake line now we're going to be using the brake line well we're going to break the uh swap okay break it off break break this off okay and then this part you can discard while the this part remaining in okay you want to leave it inside okay and then you break the stick throw the stick away as mentioned okay step six take the blue lid cover the test tube okay so by by now the test tube should have the liquid and the soap that is inside right okay that's step six for you okay step seven what do you do now you take out this test device so what basically the test device it looks like okay i'm just going to show you guys a picture okay the test device will look something like this okay it's a it is a rectangular device uh, my partner likes to mention that this actually looks like a pregnancy kit so if you have actually undergone a pregnancy test before uh, this will look a bit similar to it after you remove it okay you want to prepare it put it upright on the table okay make sure that it is facing you and it's ready to be used okay what you do after that is remove the white cap 
Okay, don't worry, the liquid will not spill out. It is designed to hold it in while you're not pressing. Okay, so make sure it's not there. Okay, what I do is there is the center portion. Okay, so you want to dip the tube into here, this particular hole. So uh, in the in the device, right, the test device, it, that, that circular mention I mentioned is actually is downwards, it's like a bowl. Okay, you want to take this and drop it. Okay, remember the keyword is five, so put five drops. So one, two, three, four, five. Okay, after that is done, it's very important. Okay, you just leave it. But something very very important to take note is the moment you put five drops in this test device, leave the test device alone. Don't touch it. Don't talk to it. You don't want to introduce saliva, right? Don't touch it. Just leave it alone for fifteen minutes. One five. Okay, that's all you need. So for 15 minutes, just set a phone alarm to it. So for 15 minutes, just leave it alone and ignore it. Okay, so what's going to happen is that, so I'm just going to show you guys a, a diagram, okay? So in the test device, right, there will be result. Okay, something like this. It'll be something like this. Okay, a C and a T. That's very important. Okay, if your result is negative, it will just show a single line at C. Okay, nothing else. Okay, so if you see this, congrats, you are negative. You do not have the virus and you can go and... No, it doesn't mean go and party, alright? Just be careful, alright? Okay, but on the other hand, if let's say you see this and this, two lines on a C and a T, it means that you are positive. You, that means you, are, you, you have the virus. Okay, even if they have specifically mentioned, alright, something like this, yeah, you can see the line and the T is very, very, very faint. Even if the T line is very, very faint, it still means that you have the virus. Okay, so that's very important. No matter how faint the T line is, the moment you have like any some or any 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 sort of uh, sign that the line is there, it means that you are te you have tested positive for it. So that means that you know just quarantine yourself, go and get yourself to a doctor right away. Okay, so what if after 15 minutes, all you got was this. This is the first example. Okay, nothing, no lines. Second example is you get a line at T, but the line at C is blank. This, any of these two cases. So if you get any of these two cases, it means that the test procedure was not done correctly. And it means that uh, the test has failed, basically. You need to try again. But it is a bit expensive to do it two times. So just do it properly, get it one time, get it done and over with. So after you're done, you uh, can pack everything in the Ziploc bag and just throw it away. Okay, so all in all, I like this uh, test kit because um, it, it's good to know that uh, at the end of it, if you test negative, that's a good thing because it's a, it's a good and affordable way, relatively affordable way to keep, to know that you are safe and you can keep your family members safe. Alright, so this is a very special episode of our unboxing. So this just wanted to share with you guys, you know, how this is one example of a self-test kit. Alright, so um, that's all for today uh, of our unboxing and just about a step-by-step -step guide of how this uh, Pen Bio ART test kit works. Like this video if you liked it, subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so yet. I'm Chester, that's all for today. See you guys.